Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2012 Suzuki Solio. Uh, this is the black and white edition. It's got uh, 95,000 kilometers on it, which is about 59,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon and you just arrived, Please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me until the end. I'll, uh, you'll have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Solio is a four pass I'm sorry, five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame. So we're going to take care of it for you this year. Uh, the new 2024 road tax and it's on you. You won't have to worry about it until next year. All right. So uh, you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out right, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you get that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. All right, so it's called the black and white edition, obviously, because it's got the checkered white and black um, interior. Okay, let's jump on its side, fix that rubber format, get situated here. Okay, key fob on your person, uh, foot on the brake, it is a push start. Push that one time, and it goes. All right, let's uh, sneak this in here. 94,762 on the odometer. Let's just, just lower that volume. Sorry, Troy. Show you a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one up there, uh, the light green one, that's your temperature gauge. So it's going to be light green with the engine's cool, and it's going to be on, which is normal. It'll go away when the engine warms up, and then it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, that circle one down there is your emergency brake. This one's a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And the one left to it, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. On that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off the left here on top of the dash, you have a vent up here that's going to help cool down the car. You want to make sure this is in the front position, okay? So it's going to cool down the car in the back a little quicker. Then you have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. Uh, your shifter, air conditioning controls, power outlet, little tray here for coins and whatnot, and then a cup holder. Remember my finger, you're going to push it, okay? Do not pull it. If you pull it, you're going to rip this face off, okay? You rip, rip this little cover off. So remember the finger, uh, the, the good finger, I should say, uh, and it is a push type, okay? And then a little bit of storage underneath that. Above the glove box, you have a little bit of storage, uh, or additional storage, and then the glove box itself. And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. Okay, that is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable right where I am. It does have a, a center armrest or, or an armrest here as well. And then a uh, compartment for your sunglasses. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't say they passed the windshield wipers. Like on most vehicles. Go all the way back. Now, I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. And uh, some dealers are actually trying to discredit this. Stop by, we'll explain why. But this is a grade of 3.5 from the auction with a CNC on the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this. And that's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. So you see that for yourself. So let's uh, show you a couple other items before we go uh, to the back seat. So you do have another cup holder over here on uh, the right side of the dash. Then it does have dual power sliding doors. You do have an option of turning that off. Uh, that's over here, or where is it? No, it's not over there. What is it? It never focuses on this thing. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. 
Uh, but underneath here, you do have your uh, your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. That works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then you do have fog lights as well. Underneath here, you do have a compartment for coins. And then over here, you have your hood release. And then on the floor here, please don't forget your gas cover release. Kind of blends in. Please don't forget that's down here. And then on the door panel, you have your mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. This controls all the door locks. All right. So to turn it off, your foot doesn't have to be on the brake. You just push this one time, and it turns off. All right. Let's go to the back here. And all you're going to do is pull this one time, and it's going to go. All right. Let's jump on inside. So just a huge amount of space. You can see I'm about a foot away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, each side does have a, um, a cup holder and a little bit of storage. Okay. Nothing on the door panels though. Now you do have an option of sliding this up. There's a bar here that put my feet in. So if you slide it up, I'm about uh, two inches away from the back seat to my knees. But you can see how much space this is. So let me move this one up. Hold on a second. It was stuck a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one back and I'm gonna show you the rear space all the way in the back. And the benefits of having them all the way up. All right. So here's your rear space. So obviously if you need more space back here, you, you could um, have this one uh, slid up a little more where you, uh, your rear passenger is still comfortable. But also when you put these down, they're gonna lock into place. They're going to stay firm and that's going to take up that extra space right there if you put this one down it's going to have space up there where if you have items that's going to fall that's going to fall in so that that alleviates that one right there but uh with both seats down just a huge ton amount of space uh back here so these are very very popular uh vehicles you see these everywhere so let's go to the front here we're going to show you the engine compartment they're going to wrap this video up Come on. okay there you go this is a 1.2 liter engine, nice and clean. And there you have it, 2012 Suzuki Solio. Uh, 95,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 59,000 miles. Uh, military price is down at 5,500. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,300. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 5,300 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the new 2024 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show we have what our program's all about and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. US dollars cash outright and or take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.